Hey, I'm Jimmy. Choosing where to go to college is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. You're looking for a school with great professors and students and a curriculum that can help prepare you for a career. All in a location where you wouldn't mind chilling for a few years. But most of all, if you're like me, you're looking for a place you can rip people off. You see, uh, I'm majoring in criminology. Think you're pretty smart because you're going to college? Well, in my experience, most students are in a school daze. They've got papers to write, tests to take, parties to go to, and if there's time left over, they even try to catch up on some sleep. They don't spend a lot of time worrying about keeping themselves and their property safe. A lot of students leave their dorm rooms unlocked. Locks are such a hassle. After all, who wants to carry keys? I mean, we're all friends here, right? And friends wouldn't steal your iPod, your money, or your other stuff. Of course, most kids don't worry about someone like me. Why would you? I look like any other student. Sure, maybe you lose a few valuables, but hey, this is my financial aid. Crime happens on college campuses, just like it does in the outside world. This video will give you a few tips to help you stay safe. The number one crime at most colleges is theft of unattended property. To prevent theft, be cautious about giving strangers access to your dorm or other secure campus buildings. Never let in someone you don't know. And don't allow strangers to tailgate behind you by holding doors or propping them open. Report any suspicious persons immediately to the Department of Public Safety. Remember to always lock your dorm room when you're sleeping or when you leave, even if you're only gone for a short time. It only takes a thief a few seconds. Dorms aren't the only place I can find great stuff. This whole campus is a gold mine. Take this library. Think the only thing they have in here is old books? Shh, think again. Thomas Hobbes and 17th century philosophy? No wonder she needed a break. You know, it was Hobbes who said that life is nasty, brutish, and short. How right he was. Most students like to go to the gym. After a long day cooped up in class, nothing relieves stress like a good workout. No pain, no gain. I love bikes. Environmentally friendly, great exercise, and so convenient, especially when you don't lock them properly. Road trip, anyone? Most criminals are opportunists. Don't give them the chance they're looking for. Always keep your laptop with you in public areas. Thieves often target laptops because they're easy to grab and they have a high resale value. If you must leave your laptop unattended, secure it with a cabling device. If you're at the gym or another public building, keep your belongings with you or secure them in a locker. Don't leave any valuables unattended in a public space. Secure your bike to a bike rack, not a stairwell or a sign. Use a strong U-shaped lock and be sure to lock the bike properly. Take removable bicycle components like headlights and seats with you. Thieves often steal bike parts and sell them. Protect your valuables by identifying them with an engraver or other permanent marker. Have them registered with the DPS Crime Prevention Unit. Engraving and placing a decal on your item serves as a deterrent. Identification is your best chance for recovering valuables if they're ever stolen. Hey, Michelle, wanna grab a latte? Hey, look at this. My credit card company just offered me free concert tickets. Really? All I have to do is confirm my account number. Don't they already have that? I thought so. Well, catch up with me later. Michelle thinks she's about to score tickets for her favorite band. She's in for a surprise. That email she just opened was from me. It took her to a site that looks exactly like her credit card company's website. 
but it's really a bogus site I set up to trick her into giving me credit card information. That's phishing. An email or pop-up message directs you to a phony website that looks just like a real company's site. And once you're there, I've got you hook, line, and sinker. Be on the alert for phishing and other computer scams. Phishing uses spam or pop-up messages to deceive you into disclosing your credit card, bank account, or social security numbers. A phishing message will direct you to a website that looks legitimate in order to trick you into revealing confidential information. Giving out personal information can make you the victim of identity theft. If you believe your identity has been stolen, contact the Department of Public Safety. You should also be on the lookout for other con artists. Avoid solicitations from strangers who approach you with enticing offers for credit cards or other products or services. These could be scams intended to get your confidential information. If an offer looks too good to be true, it's probably just that. Just checking all my sites. Facebook, MySpace, YouTube. It's one of my best sources for personal information. Let's see, this guy's posted his phone number, street address, and several risque photos. And he's going out of town this weekend. I'll have to stop by. Hey, when you post it online, it's not just your space. It's my space. Be careful when using social networking sites. Never post personal information such as your dorm room, phone number, or class schedule that criminals or other predators could access. If the site offers privacy settings, use them to control who has access to your account. Also, think twice before posting revealing or inappropriate photos or information. Some prospective employers visit social networking sites before extending internships or job offers. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. These jokes are really funny. Racist, sexist, homophobic. I don't think anyone will mind if I forward them around campus. After all, they do say laughter is the best medicine. Your school is committed to preventing and investigating hate crimes, bias-related incidents, and harassment. A hate crime is defined as a crime motivated by hatred or prejudice towards another person or group's race, color, religion, national origin, gender, disability, or sexual orientation. Harassment creates an intimidating, offensive, or hostile environment that can negatively affect a person's educational or living environment. Help your school maintain a respectful and inclusive academic and living environment. If you witness or believe you have been the victim of harassment or a hate crime, contact the Department of Public Safety. The strength's on you. Getting wasted is practically a graduation requirement at most colleges. I love alcohol too, because it makes my job a lot easier. When you're drunk, your reaction time is slower and your judgment is impaired. And all of that makes you a great target for me and some of my more dangerous friends. Tonight's a great example. Everyone is at Mike's party, and the last thing on their minds is security. <laughs> Hey, great party. And great party favors. Like I said before, finding a sweet college is very important. Me, I'm gonna have the best four years of my life, unless you stop me. And between you and me, wouldn't be too hard. Don't let strangers into your dorm. Lock your room even if you're only gonna be gone for a short time. Never leave your property unattended in public places. Secure your bike at a bike rack using a strong U-shaped lock. Take care when using the internet and protect your personal information. Never post private or compromising information to social networking sites. Steer clear of offensive jokes or behavior. Maintain an environment free from harassment. So am I worried? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Do you really think the students here are gonna follow through on all the security tips? Hey, they've got enough to do already. Instead of worrying about security, they may take a little time out for a snooze or even to call dear old mom and dad. Excuse me, who are you visiting here? Oh, I'm just passing through. The number one job of the Department of Public Safety is to protect you. But they can't do it alone. 
Personal safety begins with you. Protect yourself by becoming informed, staying alert, and using good judgment. Here are a few crime prevention tips. Avoid walking alone at night. Make arrangements to walk in groups and in well-lit areas. Whenever possible, take advantage of the safe ride and safe walk services during evening hours. Report suspicious circumstances promptly by calling 401-863-3322. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't wear headphones, especially if you're walking alone. If you need help, use one of the blue light emergency assistance phones located throughout the campus. If you live off campus, have your keys ready before you get to your apartment or car. Program the emergency number for the Department of Public Safety into your cell phone, 401-863-4111. Remember, calling 911 will connect you with the local police department, not the DPS. Stand tall, walk confidently, and trust your instincts. If a situation or location feels unsafe, leave immediately. The Department of Public Safety is always available to assist you whether you have a question or are the victim of a crime. Ensuring the safety of the campus community is a group effort. Thank you for doing your part to make your experience at college a safe one.